What's up guys, this is The Private Gamer and welcome to my gaming channel. So today, I'll be going through Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14. Some of the things that we should know, some of the things that um, it will help beginners to get the pace into this game. So it's very confusing if you're totally new to a strategy game and you would want to start on something. You don't have the experience, you have no idea what's going on and everything is too complicated to begin with. So today we'll be going through the basics of this game and how to really get things ahead fast. There won't be any in-depth strategy talking, there won't be any in-depth skills or advanced skills in this, uh, in this week's episode. So all we have to do is just uh, run through the basics, all right? And that will be easier for everyone to know what to do when you play this game. I'll go ahead and just uh, start the latest camp, I mean the earliest campaign which is the Yellow Turban Rebellion. You can try on other mo other history historical events if you want to, but I'll be going on with the Yellow Turban Rebellion. All right, so um, settings over here is about having original officers. Uh, I won't be using them. We'll just be going through the basics. So yeah, we don't really need them. Well, at the start, you have to choose a faction or probably a country, government or something to begin with. And th there's difficulty ratings over here. So... It, it pretty much depends how you want to play this game, but um, I, for me, I personally like a bit of challenge myself. So that's where I will choose um, something probably 4 stars or 5 stars. I think that's something good to begin with. And you can see from the faction over here, the country, it's um, which one is being occupied or which one have difficulties and such. So. I'm going to take you through the basics and um, I, I don't want to go through um, how hard is it to fight with someone big or what, but I will probably start with uh, something small. I'll probably start with something small, right? So I'm going to go ahead and um, choose uh, Matung as my um, faction instead, right? So you can check the retainers, number of people in there. So you only have five officers compared to the rest. The more active officers you have and the more troops you have really gives you a big head start in the game. So uh, assuming that I only have 16,000 to play with, it means that if someone with a higher troop amount would come and wreck my base, I would probably die. Um, I won't talk much about supplies because they come quite naturally in the game. It's good for trading for gold. But um, the, the, the two most important aspects is troops and gold. These, these two are the things that you need to really focus on. So let's look at Dong Zhuo and let's look at um, probably He Jing. So these two have a huge amount of troops and gold. So it really gets you up in the game real fast with uh, 49 active officers that will really make things accelerate way faster. All right. So in any case, I'll be going with Matung. So let's do it. We'll be putting normal here. Okay, um, I won't be putting hard too because I believe most people would want to play the normal mode. Alright, then um, I try not to have all this. Okay, um, actually this is the standard settings. Okay, this this is the standard settings. Alright, so we just won't touch much. Um, I don't have the DLC pack so I can't adjust any of the other difficulties. So let's go. Alright guys, so let's start. Let's understand that this is a very turn-based strategy game that involves in decision makings and um, capturing points and uh, invading people's territory. It's quite straightforward for, for all this to happen. So basically, um, in this map over here, you can scroll in and out to see how, how much territory is. Honestly, um, this is the map of China, but if you're playing this game, it doesn't really feel that big. Uh, it's accomplishable. So right now, um, since I took Martin, it's at the corner. It's easier to start off um, taking what you want to take. You don't have a large force uh, against you. Okay, you'll feel alright. You'll feel safe. So, the first biggest threat I have down here is uh, Dong Zhuo. Which, uh, that's the main priority of the game. That's what they said. But our troops different ain't that much. So, there's nothing much you can do about me anyway. Alright? So, the very first rule is um, to make sure you capture as many of these uh, small cities that are unoccupied at the moment. Yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to take this, All right, Because um, once you have this, you have a, a bigger capacity to uh, farm more gold, get more troops, and stuff like that. So the first part of the game always occupy the empty 
uh, sports around you as soon as possible. Alright, as soon as possible. This is tip number one. I won't call it a tip, but uh, this is the best way for things to do. So, uh, let's ignore this function first. Let's go for March. Okay, so what you have here is um, the list of uh, officers that you have. I know it's a bit confusing. You don't understand any of this thing, but uh, let's make it more forward. Okay, so direct means how many um, how many amount of these troops can you deploy per turn? So uh, looking at here, you can actually see that my maximum, my current strength right now is 16,000. So the most I can get out of all these is 16,000. It means that I can fully fulfill uh, Martin's 12,000 soldiers, right? And then we have leadership. Okay, it plays a part in a lot of things. Okay, but if you really want to go for combat, strength and intelligence is really very important. Strength is mostly for um, fighting, fighting itself. Uh, you're fighting with another troop. There will be duels, so strength will really play a big part down there. And um, for intelligence, it's more to strategy activations and such. And also to uh, do tactics and uh, plots to other enemy bases. Alright. So the next one, we have uh, politics and charisma. This is uh, pretty much straightforward that like if you are doing person, um, personnel stuff or domestic stuff, it will just affect, right? Or things that require convincing and such. So the next one is, uh, we have to be very sure, is the formations that your officer have. Okay, so fish is uh, pretty much for combat. Arrow is um, more to strategies and tactics activation. Okay, so the strongest you have down here is the fish formation. But um, the drawback is that uh, fish formation don't really have um, don't really have uh, much skills activation. So every of these uh, officers do have skills. For example, if I click on tactics, this uh, this why it comes out. So all these are skills that can be used during battles, but they will activate it automatically. But uh, the fish formation doesn't really have much of that. Okay, the arrow is pretty much uh, more generic. It's a uh, it's it's an okay formation that you can actually fight well at the same time you can also activate a lot of these uh, tactics so this is the more standard type of formation so um there's the goose ring i won't be going through that because it's not i'm not going to go too in detail if not it's going to bore you okay so the next the, the three things you have to look out it's a uh, fish arrow and all okay all is really important this is the speed it's like always like the scouting formation uh, it, it lets you go to places fast like real fast and you you won't even uh, take too much effort or too many days to get it done right so um, let's start off with uh, a very small amount usually I don't want to take my best officers for all because all is your, your purpose is really just to scout places and um, just to occupy places fast Alright, so let's go back to the basic and we'll find the least direct, which is uh, either Pangter or Yen Sing. So let's see if um, they have the all formation. Okay, Pangter doesn't have it, so I'll go with Yen Sing. Alright, and then I will deploy the most minimum and just set it to all. So if you can see, the maneuver is 27. Okay, compared to if you take other formations, it'll be very low. Um, well, if you got more, you can actually see the maneuver. So maneuver actually uh, talks about the movement speed of all. Your, your your soldiers okay your army um, defense straightforward assault straightforward everything here is quite straightforward so let's go for all okay and then uh, we shall make him occupy the points as soon as possible so um, I understand there's a point down here but if you are playing fast you want to make sure you get your defenses fast okay you have to capture the most important point between you and the enemy it'll be a different case if there's an enemy down here so um, for this time round I'll just uh, deploy the all to the most important locations right now so I'll be taking here and and when you click this look when you click this you can see there's a relay advanced fire attack concord um, relay means uh, you want to do multiple moves at a point uh, at a time I'll show you later advanced means you want to end the move there Alright, fire attack is uh, if you want to just make the place on fire, it does extra damage, but there's a success rate if you can see over here uh, at the bottom. There are 40% chance of success. So, um, this is kind of luck based. 
And uh, this concord function is just uh, make you occupy every single spot around the place. All right. So right now, the objective of the all is to occupy locations fast. So and they are not meant for battle. So there are auto sightings, auto sightings over here. Okay. So like enemy contact, it means uh, what happens if there's an enemy nearby? Will he attack or not? So for this scenario, we will just ignore, and uh, we can always allow him to retreat. Pursuit means um, if that the enemy officer runs away, will he chase? Of course not, right? So post command is uh, after doing all whatever you want to do, right? Do you want to retreat or just wait over there? Okay, so I'll just put it to retreat so it's easier for me. Okay, so coming to Yuzhong, I'll just relay. Okay, this is the move number one. Okay, once he's done, he can come here to get move number two. Yeah, I'll relay again. Okay. Then he goes to the back and he can grab that. Uh, and of course you can just advance. Okay, so why did I click advance? Because this is the last move that I want. And the post command says retreat. So after he lands here, he'll just go back home to the base. Simple as that. Alright. So this whole process takes 36 days. Probably uh, two times of the play button. I'll show you what's the play button later. So, um, we have this spot over here which is unoccupied um, and you're asking me, probably you're wondering why why I didn't want to occupy at all, okay? It's not that, it's just because if I got to use this same fella to go through all of them, it, it will just take it takes longer, right? So I would say main two priority, this is not really much of a priority, so that's why I will go for this route first. Okay. If you're really urgent in wanting to take this, I could probably just deploy another person right now. Okay, let me confirm this first. Okay, he says fine. Okay, I will probably probably do it right now. But um, if, as you can notice, I got limited amount of orders. So if you're asking what is orders, orders is um, the number of moves that you can do per turn. You know, if you play like different games like Final Fantasy and such, there's always this uh, number of moves that you can do. It's limited, right? So yeah. Uh, we don't want to use too much of that because it's our very first turn and everything is very crucial. So I can do this later, not now. So now since I already have covered the location of um, these three places, and if you can see, there's a 1,000 deployed out of the 15,000, right? I mean, I have 15,000 remaining to see what I want to do. All right. I will usually be more, it will be usually fast to cover my grounds first. So I'll send the fastest general, probably a big one. Because the bigger the army is, alright, the more faster they build stuff. I'm, I'm not very sure about this, you can com correct me if I'm wrong, alright. Probably it's based on the intelligence or probably based on the strength or politics, I'm not very sure. For this case, I'll take someone stable, okay, with, with his um, stats in a general overall, okay, so that it won't be much of a risk, okay. And then I'll take the, um, it's either arrow or fish. Uh, in this case, I'll take arrow because the maneuver is way faster. Certain formations let you... You see this number 3 over here, it means that it can occupy 3 spaces while it's moving. You can see this formation fish. Yeah, When they move, they move in an arrow shape. And uh, of course, it can go up to 5 depending on how many number of troops you have. But for this case, uh, yeah, we won't be needing it. And I will be stationing him nearby as an arrow formation fighter. So he's ready for combat. Right, he's ready for combat. So you can check on, on, on all his uh, trigger traits as well. Uh, these are things that would really help you if you really need to decide like who gets to go out or, or what. But for this case, I won't be doing it. All right. So these are the tactics that what I meant. Uh, in the arrow formation, uh, you can actually activate more of this. Okay. And like it does damage, disorder, enemy siege, the, all, all this. Right. Yeah. You can decide for yourself. Um, if you choose the fish, they'll be more combat prone, meaning to say they are, they will do way more damage and they won't die that easily, but the thing is they won't activate most of these tactics. Okay, so let's move Han Sui to the front. So I would expect this point over here to be the engagement point of between me and uh, this uh, Dong Zhou's army. Alright, so I would want to secure these two spots. This is like my, my home ground itself. So I will click on build. Okay, I want them to be fast, All right? And I'll build an arrow tower. 
All right, so the required number of days and the cost are all located here. And why Arrow Tower? Well, for early game, trust me, this is a very, very good defense mechanism. Well, as long as someone enter these two, two square, two hexagon boxes of this uh, Arrow Tower, it will start shooting, which really gives us a very huge advantage on combat itself when the enemy is trying to force their way through. So I'll build one. Okay, and uh, I, I think you only can build one and there's, uh, can't do extra order after that. Uh, now my, I'll handle him differently. As you can see, the number of orders drop because um, this is the number of moves you can do per turn, right? As I said. So, I still have 7,000 soldiers and I'll make sure I'm ready. Okay, and then I will send another formation, a more of a, a combat formation out to the field. Right. So it's time for you to show your power, my tongue. Okay. So I previously I didn't mention about crane. Okay, a crane is more to uh, it's, it moves very slow, but the thing is it can occupy five spaces. And it's more defensive. But it, it moves very slow. When I say slow, it's really, really, really slow. So let's go for fish. And um wait, how many soldiers did I left? I left seven thousand sharp. So I would still want to deploy someone just in case. Okay, and the next person I have is um, at 3,000. So I won't use all 7,000 for him. Probably I'll just use up to 3,000. So I need a 4,000. All right. And uh, we need someone defensive. So I think it's okay to set him as a crane. Because by the time he arrives, everything is great. Okay. Okay, so just come here and um, you just advance. Okay, so if there's enemy contact, I want him to attack. Okay, um, his retreat, I can do it later. Uh, and don't please don't chase the enemy. Okay, so just reach here and just wait. Okay, be a good boy, my tongue. People who play this game will tell you, don't never leave your base empty because um, there may be bandits or there may be someone who attacks you. But in this position, I feel I'm quite safe. Okay, besides Dong Zhuo, there's no one really coming after me. And uh, throughout the game, as the game progresses, um, there will be new factions that arise, uh, new troops that arise, and they probably just take over empty capitals. Uh, you will see that soon. Um, first, let's uh, use our remaining 3,000 as our last defense. Okay. Okay, um, there's the Goose formation over here. Goose is something that uh, you, you can shoot two spaces up to the front. So two hexagon box. Yeah, you can shoot. It is for long range. All right. And it would be good if you're having battle because you cannot have your entire troops uh, surrounding the fellow. It, it sometimes takes movements and such. So someone at the back will probably be good. All right. Uh, but if you ask me, their damage in very high and they move similarly quite slow so still i'll go for the arrow okay and i will choose uh, more damaging skill tactics to deal with it and probably this one i'll just assign him to the front and also same but this time i'll allow him to pursue just in case anything happen all right and uh, advance Okay, so I got four of my troops out and I'm zero at home. Okay, and I still have six orders. The next thing you have to do is to um, plan the appointments. So all these appointments are really important, really, really important. So um, you can see there are numbers over here. It means, it means to say that you have not assigned any troops to this category. So they will give you extra perks on your abilities and such. So for the battle, for example, I can strengthen all formation. Okay. And you, as long as the total cost is not more than 30, you can put as many as you want. But um, all these comes with a cost, like you will see down here. Right, how much is the cost and such. So don't see the bracket. Bracket is um, by right, it used to be 5, but then it minus 3, so your current cost is 2. So just see the front. Okay, as simple as that. Okay, Warlord, you can choose um, between two different people. Okay, but I, uh, it's best to always put the guy with the highest intelligence as your second in charge so he can give you good uh, advices throughout the point 
okay and if you notice that um, sometimes the wallet will appear down here you can see on the right side there's this overseer section so it means it's occupied somewhere else you wouldn't want to click here because if you uh, click here he will lose his wallet title right so let's put him back okay now I have three orders left uh, another thing about this game is um, you would want to give your officers title as they do increase stats like intelligence politics as you can see over here it's very obvious right yeah it will increase stats for them however you don't want to keep doing it frequently because it would decrease their loyalty or it will affect their loyalty so well i can't assign any titles right now so i'm just showing you this okay so i have three more orders left and the very common thing about this game that you will be clicking most of the time is the search button okay and the suggestions button so for now we don't have that okay we'll just um, i'm just showing you this okay and um, if you want to earn money fast in this game gold is very important so you want to earn money fast you have to give you have to click on your main base the domestic and area government so it will show things that you already occupied and you want to assign someone to them to earn money for you so um, every one month they'll just give you the money it goes by a monthly basis it's just like a monthly salary so you have to choose someone who have um, high um, commerce is more about money agriculture is about supplies uh, barracks about the number of troops so you can see from here your monthly income uh, if you play a lot of those like building games and such uh, all these monthly incomes are really important all right so it's very simple to select who is the best all you have to do is just press com okay and just choose i would want to build my comps first because uh you really would want the money the money is really important well i, I played this game uh, i repeat it a lot so this is the most important aspects i find so far see it does increase your supply income your gold income and your order so same, I'll just put someone who have high comps okay. and just leave it there. Okay, so this is the start. This is a good start okay, to play in the game. I have one more order left, I could probably use it on search. So search is a very important function. Okay, it sends your officer out to go and uh, find people. Alright, uh, but you can only send people who are at the base itself and um, currently not dispatch out and not doing anything. So they only show you those who are available. Alright, so search is good. Yeah, we, when, you, when you click on search, um, it can find you new recruits, it can find you items, it can also find you gold. So search is really important. So now this is the end of my turn. I have no more orders and well, let's click play. So playing will probably um, fast forward the game by 7 days or 14 days, it depends. Okay, as you can see, the troops are already, they're going up, they're going up fast before Tong Zhuo makes a move, right? See, yeah, it, it just speeds up by 7 days, so you won't see that. So this is your uh, weekly balance or monthly balance, but it's not in monthly. You can see you minus go and supply because you send people out all this. But there's no income yet because it's not a month yet. So every month there will be income. So not to worry. Don't care about all these figures, okay? Just just chill about it. Okay, so it's round two. I have 10 more orders, okay? But nothing has been done so far. Alright, I have zero troops as well. And I got nothing. But now, I got something called suggestions. So... Well, these suggestions are, suggestions are really important. They will use gold to trade, and um, they will just suggest something that like I want, I want more gold so I can improve um, something in the city. So usually all of them are good, right? So just continue through, and they will just increase it. Okay. Then when you are when you are going to combat and such, then they will start to recommend different types of uh, uh, different types of orders. We'll see that later. Uh, I, I try not to play this game too much on automated okay so um, I, I don't want to do things like auto promote auto appoint yeah it, it, it is kind of a lazy way to play it but if you really don't like to click on auto promote auto appoint uh, go ahead feel free to do that 
um, sometimes it gets kind of dry when the game progresses. Can understand that feeling. Okay, so there's nothing I can do now, regard even if I have nine orders because most of my troops are out. Well, this is my playstyle. Uh, not to say that you have to send out four troops. If you think that three troops is manageable or two troops is manageable, just go ahead and do it. All right, don't follow me by sending out four soldiers. That's just just my playstyle. Right, let's continue. So you can see, he already managed to take one of the bases. He'll take the second base, and he's putting on to the last. So it's a sequence, it's turn base. Okay, and I already have three troops standby down here, ready to fight. So on a good note, that's um, the arrow tower is building. I have two troops in defense. Okay, I could probably use him to build, but he'll take very slow. Now we can check the building time. So let's say we want another arrow tower. How much does it spend? Uh, not very sure. The that will take fifteen days for Panther's troop. Uh, probably it's based on his intelligence or charisma or such. I'm I'm still not very sure about how this one works. I'm sorry. Um, next one, you see, he's, he's he's faster. He's twelve days, right? So he can probably just build the arrow tower over here. And um, since he's free now, okay, Panther is free now. Just build a camp. So camp is important because it increases your defense when they are fighting inside and also you won't use much supply. So supplies indirectly affect morale. Okay, so as long as you run out of morale, you're dead. Your army gets wiped out. You could probably kill or captured. You could probably. So you don't want any of your soldiers go missing or given to enemy. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. Alright? So let's be a camp. And then still have more orders right go back to suggestions and always come back here and just accept whatever they give you it really helps you boost your economy at the start it's really important then there's nothing I can do now can I search no I can't search well that's the disadvantage of sending too many people out yeah they get things done they get things done really fast but um, they also can't get things done on the domestic uh, part of the game itself Okay, I wouldn't want to waste my orders because they give me 9, so I will just go for... Now, you see, I unlock 2 more, so I'll just assign more people. Although they're not currently right there right now, but they will be there soon. And uh, I won't choose someone who's already seen somewhere else. So, yeah, let's just increase our output of the game. But like I said, if they're not at home, I don't think it will give you that boost. I'm not very sure. Someone needs to confirm with me. <laughs> Alright, so 7 others remaining. Nothing I can do. Go ahead. Um, there are stuff like uh, Elden Wall fire traps and stuff. But honestly, uh, I feel it's a waste of money. Okay, it can be useful during, certain f during a heavy battle. Like uh, let's say all our battle, it, it, it could be really useful. Uh, this could block uh, spots, but no, nope, not for me. I want to kill the army fast. It's not my playstyle to do all these kind of things. Right. So, there will be bandits coming to attack your city. So, you will also want to back up nearby your base, just in case bandits come. Okay, it does happen quite frequently. Just, just take note of that. Okay, and now finally I can search. But I probably just have one officer at the base. There you go. Uh, this guy's returning home, Yen Sing. So I'll just wait for him. Just wait for him. Right? Let's move on. Okay. As time goes by, since you already occupied this territory, they will slowly expand. So you don't have to really conquer it. Uh, conquer does take time. You can I can send my troop to go walk the whole perimeter, but um, the more you occupy, the more money you have and such. That's from what I heard, but I honestly don't find it that effective, if you ask me about it. So they are still on their works, so I can't tell them to do something else for now. So I always click on area government so that you can actually choose who to manage which area. Uh, probably I left the last guy over here which is unoccupied. Okay, I'll just put it there. Okay, and then... Um, Alright, okay, let's accept. So I have this uh, city government which uh, you can actually train soldiers and such but uh, right now all of them are really uh, busy in something this is honestly important if you want if you want to gain tr more troops if not my troops will always be at zero if you notice 
right? So if you want to gain more troops, you should assign here. But uh, take note that it costs money. Um, for example, just to let you see, okay, it will give you 408 troops per month, or probably per two week basis, but it will cost you 750 gold per month. So that's expensive as shit. Sorry, that's expensive without the shit. Okay, training wise increases morale. So once they dispatch out, they can have a better morale, but it also costs money as well. So right now, not really needed for me. Let it be. As you can see, um, the Dongzhou army have decided to move forward. They have been sending soldiers out. Uh, take a look. They, he's probably want to he probably want to occupy this point, and also he wants to uh, come take over my lands. This is a very normal thing. Um, if he's smart, he'll probably just come here and occupy here and occupy here. But uh, right now, I want to build my defenses and I want to make sure I'm ready for combat. Okay, because if you can take out take out your enemy early. Okay, their troops don't have time to regenerate, and that's where you will you will get the gold. Okay, two arrow towers built, and you see defenses are increased. Okay, supply usage is low, so the morale won't drop that much down here, and it's slowly expanding. So I would say I'm pretty much prepared for war. I have two arrow towers, three arrow towers. I'm fine. I'm doing well. Okay, do I really need that much troops? Uh, we'll see. This guy is using an all formation, so he's trying to take over territories fast. Um, he's gonna send out another 6,000. I'm not sure what he's gonna do. So let's wait and see first. All right, I'm not gonna hastily send my soldiers away. And I just want to make sure they are ready. So you have to stand up front and attack the enemy. You can pursue if you want to. This time I allow you. All right, and just wait here. You are the arrow. So save. You can come here first, and you can pursue them if you want to. Okay, you are nearby too. Now you can attack and you can pursue. Okay, I have one thousand, which is the same guy uh, from the all I given earlier. Yeah, the guy with the all formation. Oh, both of them has it. So. Uh, occupying a city is important, but uh, I need people to search. So I'm sorry, I can't send out one more guy right now. Okay, uh, so just do the searching for me. I really need that because I need more officers. It's too limited for me. All right, it's really too limited for me. Go and search for more people, please. Thank you. Now that's what I'm talking about. So when you do searches, you can find like different types of um, officers around your area. Okay, and Jia Xu is like one of the most important officers, you know, we know about it. Jia Xu is great. Great chump. Okay, he's, he's a great strategist. If you played the game, Dynasty Warriors, or the other romance series, you know he's a great officer. He's have high intelligence, and based on history books, he's there. So this is my monthly income. Yeah, reducing out the expenses. Yeah, I'm alright. And now I have one of the most powerful strategists which I want him to faster get it in. Look at freaking 97. 97 strategy points. Okay, now I can assign Han Sui back to the schemes part. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy. And next, I want the titles in. Come on. Although I'm a bit, well, you could say I like to promote people. Okay, I'll change the role. So let's be lazy for this one and let's do an auto appoint, alright? Okay. Honestly, I wouldn't, but well, I don't want to take too much time on that as well. And then I want to raise the loyalty level because um, Jashu is new, he's not very loyal to me, so I'll make him loyal. Okay, I'll make him loyal. So, same, we'll go back to the suggestions. Increase this as usual. Okay, um, if I'm gonna fight, uh, here's what I mean, the extra um, things that you see over here. Well, if I want to fight, I would probably use this, but you have to pay 900 goals to decrease your morale. It's not really very uh, effective. Alright, so let's not, let's not do it. Okay, 
and then we'll reassign the governmental post positions because uh, Jia, Xu, Jia Xu is not fighting. I don't intend to put him as someone who is fighting. So I'll probably take out someone who um, doesn't have a lot of gold in their commerce. This guy's really little, although he's the leader. See, look at this, commerce 9. Definitely for you, bro. Okay, there you go. Okay, Ma Teng is um, busy, so no point anyway. And then uh, keep searching for stuff. Okay, you can see the enemy is coming, right? All you have to do is just come, you'll get wrecked. I'm really prepared. Look at this, I'm really prepared. Come, let's see what happens next. Oh, he's not coming. Even with the arrow formation, he doesn't come. Well, there's a thing called cutting off enemy supply. So in this game, everything is linked back to the main base. All right. So if if I ever just um, get my troops to just walk past here and cut it, he will start to drop morale really fast. All right. But um, uh, I, for me, my playstyle is I wouldn't want to attack fast. And there's still 6,000 soldiers. I'm not sure what he's going to do about it. He's, it's not coming out yet. So I'll just wait. And see what he's trying to achieve. So if you try, you can keep decreasing the number of troops he have down here. It's easier for you to when it comes to a takeover. All right. So same. I'm not gonna do anything. Just wait. It's a waiting game. Waiting game. Yes. It's a waiting game. And same. I want to reward. I'll make sure Jia Xu is really happy with me. You don't need, you don't really have to let the loyalty be at maximum unless you have uh you really don't feel good about it. Uh, other than that, usually it should work fine. And their morale is rather low because I sent them out quite early, so they're hungry and stuff like that. So I will probably move one step back near to the camp so that it won't affect their hunger that much. Right. Okay. There you go. Six orders. I'm sorry I never fulfill anything. But let's go. Yes, another person joins team. It's a female officer. Is he coming? He's not coming. No one's coming. Uh, I would really assume on normal difficulty they'll start attacking me, but this is just strange. They're not attacking me. Probably he knows that I'm really ready. It's really very hard for him to try something right now. So since I got a new officer, probably I add something new. Right, now I have more orders. So I can do more shits per turn. More things per turn though. And then all of you go and search, keep searching. Yeah, I will adjust my governmental position because some some parts of the the place is not operating at all. How, how's his uh, commerce? Okay, he's 3. It's alright. How about you? You 3 per turn. Yeah. Okay, 2. You're really lousy. I'm not gonna use you for commerce. 2 is really slow. Right, so let's go for 3. Okay, good. Let's change our government. Well, do you like a government where they keep changing people? Probably you do not like that. But it doesn't matter. So, okay, good. We have... um. So now, the barrack... Oh, sorry. Let me take a look. The domestic for the city. To develop people, to bring in more troops and training. Yeah, we need someone right there now. And I would want to find people who is um, free. Not acted. Okay, and they have high strength. So, Panther can do it. Even though he's out, but he can do it. And that cost me 750 per month. Expensive. Really expensive. Don't like it. But I don't have a choice. And any suggestions? No. Okay, let's do it. Come on, attack me. He's not attacking me. He's not attacking me. Is he gonna attack me? He's gonna attack me. He's coming from the river. He's coming from the river. That's something that I... That I kind of didn't plan. Alright. So... He's using an all formation. He's not going to win me, for sure. His maneuver is 29. I need to get someone fast to handle him. Okay. 
So go, please attack him. So this is the very first time you're gonna see me having a combat. So right now, we just attack. 8,000 versus 3,000, I'm bound to win, for sure. Right, I'm bound to win. Check the suggestions page again, and yeah, give me that. And um, decreasing enemy morale doesn't really help me. If there's a strategy that like you know binds the restrains the fella or confuse the fella, that would be way better. Let's go. The rest doesn't have to change. Nah, he he notices that I'm coming. He notices that I'm coming. He, he retreats. If not, he will try to take this point. Oh no. Okay. So um, well yeah, I'm out of position. And since I'm here, I probably could take this, right? Why not? So, stop chasing the fella. I want you to build something, bro. Okay, give me a cat. Give me an arrow tower. Arrow tower will do really good right now. And if you notice, I choose the position. Okay? That will somehow manage to pass through. See? Will pass through the city. So I'll occupy the city, then build the thing. It's just convenience. It's just convenience. And then, um, well, some of this morale is really low. So, same. Just build something. Arrow power. Okay. Just come here. Okay. Why is it uh, Panther? Okay, never mind. Then you shall build a camp then. Cam is really important. Just for your info, guys. It's really important. Let's do it. Oh, shoot! I forget to um, do other stuff to focus on my soldiers right now. See, we're cutting off the supply. His morale is supposed to drop real fast. So, um, it's okay to keep building all these, it doesn't matter, probably just spend gold, but um, at least you get to safeguard your base, right? In case anything happens, one of you can come back and all these can buy some time for, for the people. Okay, I'm, I'm getting troops slowly, with uh, Punter doing well. And same, we'll go for suggestions. Overseer, yes, you want 200? Here's 200, go for 200. Uh, sabotage weaken Dong Zuo. He's quite effective actually because um, you can actually decrease his number of orders, means he can't really move much. See, lowered Tian Shui's pub public orders by 12. And yeah, he can't do much really because you see, we need orders to do more things in the city. So yeah, we're, we're kind of stopping him from doing so. And same use search, keep searching. I need money and stuff. So just keep searching, yo. Yeah. Dong Zhuo is with, with his army right now. He's with his army right now. So we need battle. We really need... Wow, he, he's sending out 12,000 for me. That's a lot. I'm not sure if I, I'm able to take this. Um, now I really need that enemy decrease morale. Yes, restrain him for 55% and 500 gold. That's really risky. Decrease his morale. Wow, I'm really gonna spend a lot of money and uh, pro, you know, pro gamers who look at me right now will probably think that this is not wise. But I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'll decrease his morale. I'll increase my own morale. And I'll try to restrain him. That's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. Okay, not healthy, not healthy. If someone would attack me from the butt right now, I'm probably dead. That's a lot of gold. Okay, that's a lot of gold. Uh, well, let's not just not consider that much, All right? Oh, I probably use it on the wrong army. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. Um, bro, you can stop. You can build this camp. I want you to not attack the enemy yet. Don't pursue. Okay, I want you to build this camp right now. I need that high defense right now. 
Okay, so Dong Zhuo is not moving right now because I restrained him. I managed to restrain him. So go, go. Build, build it up. Build the camp. Build the camp. Yeah, build the camp. I'm buying time over here. I would die if this goes on. Give me that defense. And the battle is very concentrated over here. There's nothing I can do. I can't keep doing suggestions because... Honestly, I need money. I'm sorry. I hate my citizens. Give me money. 1,500, that's a lot. can build my economy at the same time. Okay. Yeah, just keep building. And um, to make things more efficient, can you please don't attack the enemy first? Don't chase him. And just repair this tower. It's just left a bit. Okay, don't waste it. Seriously, don't waste it. Go, let's continue. You can attack after that. I'm not sure the arrow tower thing is gonna work. Yes, I've managed to build my camp at the right timing. He's really gonna die. And dying is a bad thing. Okay, dying is a bad thing. So can I force you to retreat? And bro, um, since you're free, just complete this arrow tower for him. Attack the enemy. You can pursue, but just please repair this. It's, it's just a, a minor bar. Come on. You can give me the extra damage boost. Why, why do you do this to me? Don't do this to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Oh, he just went from the back. Oh no! He's gonna die! He's running directly to the enemy! Well, I'm sorry guys. Definitely, he's gonna die. <laughs> he just went through the enemy. He retreat through the enemy. This is not good. Are you repairing? And um, I would want him to retreat too, but he'll probably go back the same way. Look at this, because the river is a one-way thing. So just don't fight the enemy. You can retreat, don't chase, okay? And you, after finish this accomplishment, just go home. Okay, after repairing, I can't give um, another command right now. Okay. Wait, what happened to the other army? Whoa, it didn't, it, it didn't die. Surprisingly, it didn't die. He's going home with 10 soldiers. It's like a, it's like a K-pop band right now. <laughs> He did not die. Well, that's amazing. Okay. And I still have a healthy 3000 Tangter, which have not managed to um, do anything yet. As in, like, he did not lose any soldiers. He's perfectly in good health and good shape. Okay, yeah. As usual, search him up. Keep searching. Okay. No suggestions. Go, go, go. Repair that thing. Okay, good. All right, and about you. First, I want you to stay near the camp, right? But I, I, I don't want you to do nothing. Okay, you can attack, but don't chase. Don't. You need to wait more for more team members to come. All right. So, um, just build something around. Okay, just build something around. But you stay near the camp. Okay. Uh, I don't have to worry about this anymore, and I'm waiting for my other people. So, um, there are still places that has not conquered. I can finally get it done right now. So, all formation. I don't see who's free. Yan Xing's free. He, he does not oversteer anything. So you go all with the less amount of troops and just take this spot over here and change to this spot over here. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, don't do anything under that. Just uh, retreat. Don't chase. Okay, don't fight. There you go. 
Mm. Uh, I think they promised me something about the morale related. Uh, we get. I'll see through that later. Um, okay, do more and uh. No, no, no! Don't host a banquet. I'm not. You cause unrest to the people. I'm a bad. I'm a bad leader. I'm a really bad leader. Okay, I'm sorry. Money is really important. Well, if you are really patient, you don't. You don't need that. You don't need to extort money out of your citizens. But I'm a just a bad. I'm a bad leader. Okay, let's go. So, Panther is gonna build something. Around the camp. Oh, I found a flying hammer. You're auto equipped to the leader usually. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm in good shape. Look, my morale is good. I'm building an arrow tower. I'm happy. And someone's gonna come out and take. Why is he not taking anything? Oh, because that's the current morale right there. Okay, Sien Singh, it's you again. I'm sorry, just now you have no morale. I force you to do things when you're sad. I won't force you to do things again when you're sad. Okay, yep, this is the same. Let's try again. Okay. Go, go, search. Keep searching, man. Keep searching. Well, um... Probably have a... Uh, Four more minutes on the clock before I can end this as an hour's recording. It's going real fast. Okay, yeah, still doing stuff. I want people to start fighting, but uh, I'm really lack of the troops right now. Can we get someone better? Yeah, he's the best. And he's outside, that's the problem. Can you get Martin to increase their morale when it comes out? Like, it does, it's expensive, man. It's 300. But whatever, man. I need money, but... Uh, sometimes you have to put some money in in order to gain something better. Okay, all of you can go and search. And okay, guys, let's uh, proceed and resume and see what happens. Okay, so he's trying to take the base over here, and he's going to go back to he's going to go to San Shui, San Shui. And I'm getting more troops as time goes by. I'm happy. All right, and I, I'm sure Tong Zhong's not going to do anything. He has six thousand. It's really risky if he sends out all his six thousand to try to fight me right now. It's really a very risky move for him. So as you can see, he's not doing it. All right, it, it would be great if I can capitalize and send someone to wreck down his space, but six thousand is still a big number for me to go through. I'm not very ready for that yet. So we'll just wait and just keep searching. It's what we always do every day. Just keep searching. Just keep searching. Okay. And uh, I probably have a new domestic unlock down here. Yeah, I got two of them actually. Why is Yu Zhong gone? Oh, because I probably changed someone. Uh, well, I really have nothing, so just do this, right? Probably I don't need Matung anymore. Because um, he's just increasing morale not that much important to me right now at this moment but it's important in the near future i still have one slot but i don't have enough people to do it okay um so let's go let's do it See, this is what I meant by uh, people just raise flags and just tell you uh, to come. Right? Yeah. I mean, like, it's just a new faction. Usually they'll take on empty spots. 
Yes, I have more troops now. Okay, I have 5,000. Um, am I happy with that? Am I? Am I happy? Nah, not really. I'm not, I will not be sending them out so soon yet. Okay, it really holds no purpose. And, you know, Panther is free. So, I'm gonna progress slightly further. I'll just keep progressing until I reach the point, alright? Um, I need to threaten him a bit so things start moving. I'm, honestly, I'm not ready to fight. I'm still not ready. Though. So, all I can do is just keep building. Just keep searching, just keep building. <laughs> it just works like that. Just keep searching and just keep building. Oh, he's not an ally yet. So uh, it would be wise to actually, you know, form an ally so that you can focus on the battle itself. But you have to pay money and it only lasts for a certain amount of time. So, you know what? If he comes, I can take on him. I feel that I can take him on and I don't need that ally right now. Right? So, ignore. What did I say? Just keep searching. Just keep building. Remember the rules. Okay, just keep searching, just keep building. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, arrive already. So I'm really near his base right now. Actually, you should click the suggestions first before you click anything else. It's a it's a really bad habit for me to click other things first. Uh, suggestions, um, once you, you kind of assign stuff and like click search, then the suggestions will be gone. Right, so just uh, keep in mind, always click the suggestions before anything, uh, providing if you have to go for it. Don't throw us out! Look how much he's getting wrecked! He just immediately get wrecked? That's nothing he can do! And look at the number of troops they have right now. Go, 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 go. It probably could take him out. He probably could take the base on his own. Without even Panther's help. Yep. And there you go, we have suppressed our first city in a normal difficulty. Summing up our game for the past one hour. Okay, Tian Shui belongs to us. And this is the first 60 minutes of how you are supposed to do it. Alright, but uh, let me go through with more stuff before I end this. Okay, so um, once you take over a base, um, the remaining soldiers in there will get captured. Uh, you don't want all of them to join you. Uh, it, it does take salaries to join you. So you have to be careful of who you choose. So let's just say that uh, we just go through one by one. Okay, I will want Dong Zhuo. Uh, uh, although he's weak right now, he's wounded. That's why the stakes are bad. But um, it depends if you want him or not, or you just wanted to kill him or detain him, employ him. Oh, this girl is good. Because it's a, it's a female. If it's me you want, then there are other ways to treat me, are there not? Oh, alright, definitely. Oh, all male abilities within a specific range decrease for the enemy. Oh, Zhang Xu is good. Zhang Xu is good, look at his stats. This guy is good too. Overall, overall is high. Uh, when your supply lines cut, morale of troops decrease. Alright, something I can accept. Employ. Fail to employ five. Okay, three of them join me. The rest are not negotiable. Okay, this is good. This is good too. Um, this is fine. Okay, all these can... It's good. So, we will just detain them first. Okay, so these are the remaining people that are really useless. So, you want to be a good guy, you can release them and someone else will get them. Okay, but I'm sorry. All of you just die. Ugh! Executed. Oh, is there another horse? Alright, guys, so that sums up the very first look and the start of the game, how you're gonna do it, and such. It's all there for you. Well, just follow these guidelines, you'll be fine, you can take the next region and such. I won't go into in-depth details right now. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video of um, 
the very first beginner's uh, way of building stuff and seeing how to fight. Okay, I'll, I'll go through more in uh, future videos and future episodes. Uh, this game is really interesting. You should you should try it, and I hope that uh, this video really helps you to uh, understand the game better and achieve what you want. So with that, thank you everyone, and good night.